Alright, what's going on YouTube? It's Manny here, and welcome to my q and i I've not one of these in a while, and I'm sorry for that, but yesterday I hit 300,000 subscribers, which is a crazy amount. I really can't thank you guys enough for that. So, uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know what I tweeted out yesterday about a q and If you're not following me on Twitter, a link to that is in the description. And, uh, gonna answer a couple of you guys' questions, and let's get right into them. Alright, first question comes from Mini Sneego, I think. I'm bad with names, I'm sorry. But uh, am, I, am I going to any gaming events? And if so, please share the details. Um, next month, actually, is PAX East, and I'll be going to PAX East. Uh, me, Vanos, basically do work. I'm Wildcat, Words Air 7, and I are Panda. We're all going to PAX East, so if you're going to PAX East, come say hi. We'll just be chilling about the arena place and whatever. And then I think I might be going to Eurogamer in October and possibly Gamescom. I'm not sure. But I, I definitely know I'm going to PAX East, but the other two is kind of like a hopefully. Our right, next question comes from Andrew, and he says, How long do I plan on doing YouTube for? Uh, answer to that is, I have no idea. Honestly, no one has any idea how long you're going to be on YouTube for. It's pretty much until you get bored or you just you don't find the enjoyment in it anymore. And as of now, I'm loving it. I'm loving you guys come back to my videos and give me support. Even recently, it's been incredible. So, uh, honestly, I have no idea, but hopefully not for a long time yet. All right, Julia asked, why did editing and creating videos appeal to you? And honestly, it, I don't really know. It was it was summer of 2011. I've answered this in other Q&As, but I'll answer it again, because I know I've got a lot more subscribers than the last one. But um, summer of 2011, didn't really know what to do. It was like, I was in, what, was it, what would you call it, high school in America? Middle school? I have no idea, I'm sorry, but I was like, how old was I? Yes. 15, 16, 16, 16, and uh, I didn't really know what to do during summer because you always get bored during summer. So I thought I'd try this YouTube thing just to see how it goes. Give me something to do, keep me, keep me productive, you could say. And uh, I just got hooked from the start. I'm not gonna lie. And uh, even though for the longest time I barely anybody watching my videos, I just did it for the enjoyment. And even now I still love doing it. It's not that I'm forcing myself to do it. I just really enjoy making videos. It's just one of those things. Ronaldo Arvalho. I said that's so wrong. <laughs> um, am I ever going to move to the USA? I don't know. I would like to, I guess, because as of now, like my sleep schedule, if you don't know my sleep schedule, my sleep schedule is go to bed at 8 or 9 in the morning and wake up at like 5, 6, 7 in the afternoon because of making videos and playing with Americans who are all like West Coast and stuff like that. So if, if I did move to America, it would literally be for connection purposes and having a proper sleep schedule. But apart from that, I'm happy here in Northern Ireland. From Mr. Malfunction, hey many do you ever plan on stopping making videos and settling down, yes or no? No? Because I'm I'm only 19, you know what I mean? So like I still have a lot of my life ahead of me and this is what I want to do at the moment. Uh, I'm not going to college because of this. I know I can go to college after I do YouTube, so I'm kind of taking this Taking it in my stride, you could say. So I won't be settling down for a long time yet, I'd say. All right, Harsh the Mersh. Is that right? Harsh the Mersh? Harsh the Mersh said, uh, you said you lived in Singapore. Is this true? It is. Uh, if you don't know, my life has been kind of screwed moving about places. Basically, my life in a nutshell is I was born in Dubai, lived there for five years, and then I moved to Thailand for two years, Northern Ireland for a year, Singapore for two years, and then back to Northern Ireland for the, for the remaining. So. Uh, I moved about a lot for my dad's work, um, but honestly, I'm happy that I've sort, of, I've sort of got to see the world a bit, and uh, I, w I wouldn't change it for anything. All right, this question is quite funny, actually, because I get asked this quite a bit from Bridget Bear, and uh, he or she asked, Minnie, how tall are you? And everyone thinks because my name is Minnie Lad, I'm like a legit midget, um, and it's kind of weird going up and meeting people sort of in real life and saying, yeah, my name is Minnie, even though like I'm six foot or six foot one at the moment. I'm not like four foot three, but it's hilarious the amount of people that you can say in online lobbies who think you're a midget. It's priceless how gullible people are. Just saying. Our final question comes from Joe White, and he asked, did you play any sports as a child? And I was a really sporty kid, actually. I played football or soccer, same thing. I swam, rugby, tennis, Oh god, there's a few more out there as well, but uh, I think the main one for me was probably rugby. Even to this day, I'm still really passionate about it. Still watch it on TV, still play it when I can, but doing YouTube as a full-time job and also uh, going to the gym five, six times a week and then also going out with friends and stuff like that. It's kind of hard to fit into the schedule, but I try when I can. But uh, yeah, it's, honestly, I love rugby. It's always have done. My family loves it and uh, had moderate success with it. I got trials for Ulster rugby which is kind of like Northern Ireland 
rugby under 18 type thing, so moderate success with it, I guess. Uh, which is kind of cool. And that is the end of my q and I'm sorry it's a short run, but uh, kind of struck for time a little bit here. Uh, thank you guys who submitted a question, I really appreciate it. Sorry if I didn't get around to your question. I might do an Omegle fan meetup on Twitter later on, so if you haven't followed me on Twitter, link to that will be in the description. That's really it, I'll try and get a proper video up tomorrow, hopefully a GTA video. If you didn't watch my video yesterday, link to that will be in the description, or you can go over to my channel page. It is the Gary's Mod Sandbox Funny Moments video. And yeah, that's really it. So like, subscribe, all that stuff, and thank you guys for the 100k, and I will talk to you guys later.